I know you're gonna dig this. Get, get, fu- get funky with me. What's going on everybody, how are you doing today? Here I am in the village in Greenwich Village, New York City, Manhattan. This is one of my favorite places. Manhattan, I love it. I love coming down the village. I love people just talking really loud on their phone, just while I'm trying to film, having a life. These oblivious to everything going on. I, I, I may be interrupting him. I'm interrupting him. One thing, I never quite understand people that walk around and talking on speakerphone loud. You know what I mean? Like when they're, walk, when they're walking around. Oh my, what's going on? Everybody? What's going on everybody? How you doing today? Here I am in... What's going on everybody? How you doing today? Here I am in the heart of the village. The place across the right, right over there says heart of the village. Manhattan, I am in Greenwich Village. I am in the village. The village. The village. The village. This area of New York is beautiful, it's cool. It's, well, you're gonna see. A lot of stuff has been done here. It's a very historic area. This is the Gay Village, where we're approaching over here, Stonewall Tavern, Stonewall Inn. It's just around the corner, historic Stonewall. There's a lot of things I could be doing a video on when I'm in this area. It's just amazing. And look at that, look, it's New York City, man. Come on, it's New York City. But, I wanna go there. I want to go to this street. This street is Gay Street. Dumb. Dumb. I always wonder, was it named Gay Street before the Gay Village? Or was it, gay, was it named after? It's probably named after somebody with the last name Gay. I'm assuming. The street had been christened long before Greenwich Village became the Manhattan capital of LGBTQ plus culture. In fact, the records go back to the gay old times, before the word gay had its current connotation. Evidently, it was already named Gay Street by 1827, possibly after a member of the gay family who lived in the neighborhood. Apart from that, its true etymology remains uncertain. This is courtesy of Atlas Obscura, a great website, one I visit quite often. Gay Street has a lot of history. But I'm gonna concentrate on one thing about it. Because where I'm standing, right, right here, right here, Sydney Lobber went right behind me, right here, on Gay Street, in the gay village, in Manhattan. That's right, girls just wanna have fun. One of the most iconic songs of the 80s, of the of the last century. I said it. She comes right along here. First of all, her mother, played by her real mother, girls just want to have fun, Cyndi Lauper. She's So Unusual was the, was the album. The year was, I want to say 1984. I'm not sure, I think it was 1984. That's a Vacon. It's run on biodiesel power, it says it. So. And her father was played by a Captain Lou Albano. You can see it's a very photogenic area, so people are taking photo, photos everywhere, up and down the street, up and down, up and down, right around the corner. No, wait. Yeah, right around the corner is a uh, famous stone wall. And um, anyway, okay, back to the opera. So, she comes home in the morning light. Her mother says, what you gonna do with your life? Okay, but that beginning with a which is like one of the best beginnings of any song ever. When you hear that, you're up on the floor dancing. Doesn't matter where you are. Doesn't matter how old you are. That song makes you want to dance. I'm not going to, but it makes you want to, because I'm not listening to it right now. Jokafi. So, that whole video was filmed, well, not the whole video, but this is the street from the beginning. She comes home in the morning light. Her mother's waiting for her, and like, what the hell, Cindy, where you been? Come on. Cindy looks to be about 40 in the video. No offense to Cindy Lopez, she looks great. I saw her um, at a, I think it was a pride event last two years ago somewhere she was she was being um she, i think it was in i don't know where it was la 
Lauper. She looked great. Sienna Gray. She's Cindy Lauper. She's an icon. But she, I, I thought she looked a little older than a, a teenager to be, to be, for her mother to be worried about her where she is all night. And I thought she was a little old to be living at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? She came home in the morning light. Her mother said, what you're going to do with your life? When you gonna live your life right? She said, Mama dear, you know, we're not the fortunate ones. Girls just want to have fun. And that's true. They do. I've met a few. So, she comes along here, right there, and then they come up, she, wait a minute, hold on, let me turn around. Basically, she dances up and down this street. She's doing that dance. Let me look at the video because I know she goes right along here, along these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful buildings, and she cuts across. But let me find, let me take Let's a look it. quickly. So I'll cut to a different shot. I'm going to get that shot in a second, but she dances right along here, and she does that little tip of the hat right here. Look, that same thing vent is the same one i mean maybe they replace it with new material i don't know how things like that work it could be a new one but right there she dances right along here and it looks like they may have doubled it up she may they may have done it and then have her do it again along here because in the video it looks a lot longer that's what she said but it's not it's right along here how you doing uh yeah but here you get an angle basically from up here, this way, I'm going to show you. Even further back, because you get the white building. She's dancing up that street right there. That was close. So Cindy Lauper's coming right up there. Let's go around the corner for a second. Uh, we're not too far from the Friends building, where I've been to a million times, and I'll never get tired of going to it, but not today. Take a look. At the corner of Christopher and Gay. And yeah, this is the heart of Greenwich Village. A lot of cafes, a lot of spas, a lot of bars, a whole bunch of stuff. This place is just awesome. A lot of dogs. But yeah, we're here because of Cindy Lauper. Now, I gotta admit, um, I think I could name 10 Cindy Lauper songs off the top of my head. Let's see. Girls Just Wanna Have Fun, She Bop, Goonies, True Colors, I Drove All Night, Time After Time, Did I Say Girls Just Wanna Have Fun? Cheap up, cheap up. I can name six. So I, I'm a moderate fan, you know? I think she's great. All through the night, money changes everything. They already mentioned Goonies. Goonies are good enough. Well, what's really cool is this is where that in incredible, incredible, like, wasn't a groundbreaking video? And there's lots of other, I'm just blabbing. There's lots of other post no bills, no skis, no. There's a lot of um, locations for the, for the video, but I always wanted to come to this one. Then they, I guess they did a studio for when her and her mom are talking around the kitchen table and Captain Lou Albano's there, all that stuff. Right along here. Yeah, pretty cool. COVID. And what's funny is last time I was in New York City, I was over there at the corner and I was on the phone. And my friend was coming to meet me, and he said, where are you? And I said, I'm at the corner of Christopher and Gay. But yeah, so it's shot this way, all this way. Coming, she's coming up the street. And I love the fact that that little stairwell thing is still there with a brrr. I love that part. To anonymously report unsafe conditions at this site, call 311, you don't have to give your number. Should I? I mean, it seems safe, but it seems like it seems like it's wall of shame graffiti art. Look at this. They've got a picture of a graffiti artist. He's right here. Oh, my God. Oh, there's a whole bunch. You urinated on these photos. Smile for the... Oh, they're people... Oh, my God. They're people peeing. Ew. What the hell? So they've taken photos. So there is a cam... Oh, there's a camera right there. I'm not peeing. These guys have gotten caught. 
wall of shame graffiti artist. There's a few of them, so there's no graffiti here. Don't do it, because they're going to put a picture of you up painting. And worse, if after painting you feel like you have to pee, they're going to put a picture of you peeing right here. Don't come here to pee. Don't pee on this street. Pee in a bathroom. Wall of shame. Find it. It says it right there. Find a bathroom. And somebody peed on the photos. <laughs> Some you urinating. Okay, I'm not, that's not funny. That's not funny. But they're real. I mean, they got caught peeing on the photos, and somebody else. Then somebody they they got caught peeing on camera, so they put the photos up, and then somebody else came along and peed on the photos. So yeah, this is Gay Street, and this is Cindy Lauper. She's so unusual. I believe all the photos for the uh, cover of the album and all the photo art. Photo art? All the album art was uh, Coney Island. Shout out. The band was here. Steve Birnbaum on Instagram. He gets a lot of that stuff. He knows where all the album covers and all that were filmed. But right there. Look at that. Right there. That's where Cindy Lauper goes. Right there. So, that was cool. And like I said, I'm not sure what came first. It's known as the village, the gay village, and then they called the gay street. The gay street then became. They were like, "What do you call this street?" Well, we're in the gay village, it's called Gay Street. All right. And this is a no. Uh, this is a no hate town. You can take your. Uh, you have a sense of humor about some things. A sense of humor is great. We all have a sense of humor. Make jokes. But homophobia bigotry, racism, sexism, ageism, anything like that, get the fuck off my channel. You're not welcome. Okay? We're just having fun. This is Gay Street. This is the Gay Village. Cindy Lauper was here. Thank you for watching, everybody. I love you all. I know none of you are like that. All right. Now, I don't know. It's New York. I think I'm going to go uptown. Oh, yeah. Central Park. Let's go to Central Park. Maybe on the next video. Who knows? I'll probably upload it in a year. Thanks for watching, everybody. Shout out Nerd Locations, Ray Ann. Love you, man. He's, he's always helping me. Where the hell did I park? My car's gone. My car's gone. Peace out. It's not.